friends welcome to adda 24/7 we are in the sankalpa 2000 mcq series for retail banking and wealth management we are covering various numer objective questions here so follow this sankalpa series or 2000 mcq series completely various objective questions are covered on complete chapter as such complete topic rbw similarly you get it for other subjects as well on the same channel officers adda 24/7 so that's why click on this subscribe to it click on the bell icon okay let's start without wasting the time okay so start let's start the first one we'll do it fast because we are requiring we are to cover maximum questions in this limited 15 20 25 minutes okay so let's do it Now, you also give me the fast answers yeah which of the following business approach for retail banking has advantage of clear focus and business objective so clear focus and business objective which of this clear focus where is the clear focus it is in strategic business units here sbu means what i'll explain you again sbu i've explained it earlier also but sbu is mainly means all your expenses see this it is income income and expenses these should be covered from your branch only means you manage your income and expenses nobody is going to help you okay ho head office will not help you otherwise what used to happen earlier banks used to branches used to ask for funds for profitability from the head office so that is not going to happen now sbo means you manage your own income in earn so much that you will be able to uh, do your expenses from that income only okay so clear focus and business objective that is in this uh this sbo only okay next banks adopt different models for implementing retail banking business and the most common strategy for this includes which of the following so this various business models which we arrange firstly understand this implementing retail banking business models what are the models models can be horizontal horizontal then vertical then you have predominantly horizontal predominantly horizontal predominantly vertical these are the four models mainly used in the banking okay so the question over here is what are the various conditions under which means what are the various factors that lead to these models that is end to end outsourcing predominant outsourcing partial outsourcing and in house sourcing now what do you mean by this end to end outsourcing end to end means what complete outsourcing i am just running the bank and everything of mine is outsourced dss my this uh, saving account collection is uh, outsourced getting the documents is outsourced then i am having this uh, uh, dss for loans so everything is outsourced so this is followed mainly in foreign banks remember end to end is done in foreign banks end to end end to and just i'll write it now end end okay so there it is done in foreign banks okay predominant outsourcing so predominant outsourcing is done in predominant outsource so that is done in which bank this is mainly done in indian private new age new private banks means like hdfc bank icic everyone partial outsourcing partial outsourcing is generally in old private banks like old private banks means for example federal bank i am just giving you an example now they might have also shifted to this but as per your book partial outsourcing is done done in this old private banks federal and then karnataka bank okay karur vaishya bank okay and last one is in house in house means complete development in house so that is generally followed by nationalized banks okay now see here it's given in your book these are the definitions given in your book but now even i would say some nationalized banks have also gone for this outsourcing part it's not that it's a rigid structure that nationalized bank means completely in house no nationalized bank can also go for predominantly outsourcing similarly old private bank can also go for end to end outsourcing anything can happen anything can happen over here okay yeah so it is a to d all okay that is the answer just hold on yeah hold on
नेक्स्ट वन द एडॉप्शन ऑफ सोर्सिंग मॉडल फॉर रिटेल बैंकिंग बाय बैंक डिपेंड ऑन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग फैक्टर्स प्रोडक्ट रेंज प्रोसेस रिक्वायरमेंट टेक्नोलॉजी प्रिपेरेडनेस डिलीवरी डिलीवरी कैपेबिलिटीज एंड रेगुलेटेड प्रिस्क्रिप्शन सो दिस सोर्सिंग मॉडल सोर्सिंग मॉडल मीन्स वॉट हाउ डू आई सोर्स द बिजनेस सिमिलरली एज एज वी जस्ट सॉ इट एंड टू एंड आउटसोर्सिंग or this uh, partial outsourcing sourcing how do i get the business in private banks we have dss right for getting the businesses getting the business means collection of documents here dss are only allowed to collect the documents they are not allowed to decide whether the account is to be opened or not similarly in this uh, nationalized banks also we have this now bcs business correspondents they also do the similar job isn't it so bcs so what do we decide on means how do we decide uh, what are the various factors product range process requirement technology preparedness delivery capability regulatory prescriptions it is all of them isn't it a to e all everything everything is a reason for this isn't it because here depends on which bank is adopting what but here it's asked for the, all the banks so product range means if i am having a large number of products how many products are there in banking roughly you have 35 to 37 products in banking 35 to 37 such as a huge range of products all banks don't have everything but these are this is a total this uh, summary or total uh, number of products okay process requirements what are the various processes followed in my banks process means some banks have a longer process some banks have a, some banks have a shorter process right technology fastness means that is fastness b and c are roughly correlated nowadays process and technology right then delivery capabilities how fast are my employees responsiveness how do i respond to the customers regulatory prescriptions okay how do i regulate means what does rbi say about this we have to follow this regulatory prescription so answer is definitely a to e all which of the following defines retail banking the banking service now this is simple na huh? towards primarily towards individuals you know this then individual customers that all that also you can definitely tell small account holders definitely you can say so answer will be here it is very easy right retail banking is mainly geared towards individuals individual customers and is small account holders which of the following character uh, is a characteristic of retail banking the banking service to, services towards individual customers this is a bit difficult one huh? quite twisting individual customers second population of individuals large population of individuals right activities focused on mass market segment covering large population of individuals right and large corporates large corporates are never the part of this uh, retail banking okay so third is out so my answer will be only one and two where is it this option yeah b okay so b is my answer isn't it which of the following business approach for retail banking is more a management by objective process where the business model is dealt as a modular strategy for achieving the targets so look at this it is more management by objective mbo management by object means what what do you mean by this term mbo you will always get this term in your exam also mbo what is mbo mbo means here i first decide on my target my objective this year my bank has to achieve a profit of let's say 20 20 10% rise 10% rise i want rise okay so if my profit was let's say last year 100 crores now this year i want 10% rise so it should be 110 crores so this is my objective management by objective means what i'll do whatever i want means how fast i can whatever means not illegal ways uh whatever legal ways i can do to achieve this target this is known as management of objective objective is set first and then the whole management and whole the team all the bank follows that objective so which is the best model over here which follows this it is definitely look at the first options sbo departmental integrated and generalized So which is the best the best model over here is this sbo as i told you earlier sbo means what do your own expenses from your own incomes no more asking for the head office okay help which of the following is not the feature of the retail banking not the feature we want not the feature okay not the feature of retail banking 
these are provided through branches as well as virtual banking channels so correct branches virtual banking channels correct so we want not huh? so this is true second these can be extended only for amounts and which are very small in size so that is false yes very small in size is not the right answer home loans right a simple example of home loans home is right now at around 10 crores in mumbai main main cities okay main locations one flat is of for around 10 crores okay in mumbai so even if i give 75 percent of the loan so it will be around 7.5 crores isn't it not no very small amount so that is not a feature Okay, so this is false answer over here. So these can be extended. Let me see others also. These can be offered both as a liability as well as asset product. Both as a liability and asset product. So definitely liability means what? Deposits. See here, liability equals to liability equals to deposits. And assets equals to assets. Equals to loans. Okay, so what is the job of the bank? Same getting interest from the loans and giving giving it to the depositors they can be extended to small size businesses also current accounts can also be there proprietorship partnership private limited limited also up to a certain uh, turnover small businesses okay got it a retail banking service can be extended through which of the following so see here can be extended through which of the following so retail can be extended through what branch and internet banking only so that is okay branches and atms only okay atms and internet banking only okay branches atms internet banking mobile this is the right answer isn't it it can be extended through anything now i can just limit it to something isn't it any of the virtual channels or physical channels remember there are two channels in banking always remember this two channels one is physical channel physical and second is e-channel or virtual channel we call it virtual virtual nowadays what is happening all these virtual channels means like this atm atm then internet banking mobile banking these are all getting the importance over here but this physical channel of branch people are not neglecting this channel this is not right branch channel is of equal importance here you understand the human being human being is understood in the branches so that's why this is one of the important channels whereas virtual channel can't understand your requirements okay means definitely we must go for the virtual channel definitely because it's fast but this channel has also the equal importance over here okay suppose if i go in front of the atm and i need money but atm is not working will the atm be able to do anything it's a machine but if i go in the front of the branch in the branch and i require some money i know i'm not having the checkbook the branch manager can take the decision depending on the situation right so that is the importance of human being that's the importance of physical channel always remember this physical channels are equally important in banking as the virtual channel virtual channels can never replace the physical channels everyone subscribe to offices at the 24 7 youtube channel in this channel you will be getting the latest updates on jib and cib from iibf uh, explain them completely so that you don't have any unclarity or vagueness in your mind opacity in your mind right second is you get the free youtube series right now what are you watching free youtube series similar youtube series you get it for all the subjects okay so subscribe to it click on the bell icon immediately okay uh, share it with your friends the foreign and the new private sector banks adopt which of the following business approach for the retail banking see here foreign and private sector banks both of we are talking of now they adopt which strategy they generally adopt this sbu right others you already know right generalize is not this question at all so sbu approach these foreign banks and new private sector banks they go for this sbu approach then what are these this is done by nationalized banks nationalized generally nationalized okay and this uh, integrated is done by the small banks small banks means which have just now been formed many small banks have been formed now right which of the following bank groups in india has clear positioning platform positioning here positioning platform 
clear positioning platform being on the top slot across the all the bank all the glass of the bank in retail banking so being in the top slot many of you will answer this foreign bank but that's not the answer the answer is new private banks foreign public private and new private new private is the right answer new private banks always strive to be in the first or second range second number in anything okay so this is a new private sector then what do you say about the foreign banks foreign banks are not concerned about positioning positioning they are not concerned about this they are only concerned about business their simple angle is business if there is business then they'll enter it if there is no business they'll out they'll be out many of the if you check all the foreign banks i would say why many in fact all the foreign banks you check them they have exited the retail business in india city bank standard chartered hsbc they have exited the retail banking business in india they have sold it to the various uh, indian private banks okay everyone download adda 24/7 app on your mobile in this app you will be getting the premium study material plus live classes ebooks tests whatever we need for clearing jib and cib we get it over here what do we need for clearing jib one is classes so online classes are available books ebooks are available tests tests are needed to boost your confidence always remember so that's why uh, tests are available over here so that's why download it right now and start studying how much time is remaining for your exams october is your exam right so do it fast study fast okay public sector banks for retail banking business mainly make use of end to end outsourcing partial partial outsourcing in house sourcing and predominantly outsourcing public i have already told you in house right so public sector bank is strictly in house as per the books now even public sector banks are going for partial outsourcing we have bcs what are bcs business correspondents these are partial outsourcing but as per your book as per the exam jib you have to give this c answer okay foreign banks for the retail banking business make use of end to end outsourcing partial outsourcing in house sourcing mostly uh, outsourcing based on the business model so foreign banks means what are foreign banks city bank hsbc standard chartered bank there are many there are around 37 to 40 foreign banks in india 37 to 40 even more than that they always go for end to end they never follow this model of our uh, complete staff and all the huge staff use staff network never they never follow anything like this okay as per the study banks adopt the following models based on the technology and customer interface capabilities horizontally organized predominantly horizontally organized vertically organized predominantly vertically organized and last one is centralized centrally organized model so this e is out strictly say this e is not the option so answer is only these four horizontally vertically ph and pv so a to d only okay it is only a to d it's not it can be beyond this centrally organized model is a model that is known as say this model is known as what centrally organized model it means this is known as a Uh, hub and spoke model okay or client server model so this is a server and this is a client client means all branches are the clients branches and processing center i am not saying head office processing center processing center is the server okay so this processing center helps for all the branches all the branches go hit that processing center only this is known as centrally organized model but that is not the model as per the technology and customer interface as per your books it's only these four okay which of the following business approach which of the following business approach for retail banking has advantage of clear focus just now i think so we did it right it is this sb we are covering 2000 objective questions not typically by me it's by mentors various mentors for rbw so it's a 2000 mcq series it's completely for all the subjects as such okay so that's why follow the complete series by all the mentors subscribe to officers at that that's why i'm saying or subscribe to officers at that 24/7 youtube channel and you'll get all these mcqs on various subjects
okay so to typically we are having 50 days 50 classes now this has already started now 50 days are not remaining for your exams so it has already started go through the earlier series also everyone we are right now in chapter number four and five and typical questions here yeah, these may be asked to you in exams so let's study one by one okay first one and remember these are all typical questions related to chapter four and five today we are dealing in that okay to meet the physiological needs in terms of maslow's motivation theory of the customers banks offer which of the following we are find which one is not correct okay not correct firstly understand what is maslow's theory okay it's a typical triangle right you are, many of you might have studied this right typical triangle so that is what one is physiological basic right physiological physiological okay so physiological second is what anyone can give me what is the second one physiological second one is safety correct safety everyone you also type third one social social okay fourth one esteem esteem and last one is this is actualization now what do you mean by this here you must study this in the books also physiological means that person that category which which is at the basic level okay that for this person is typically day uh, earning member day earning person today eat uh, earn today eat today that's it that person doesn't like uh, doesn't crave for these cars or big bungalows that person only said okay daily life my is okay and give me the daily bread bread and butter that much is enough for me Second is the safety. This is a bit higher. Now we are going one step higher in each each level. Safety. This is a typical level. In this, what happens? This person is above the physiological. Means he is getting some higher wages. Okay. So this person will try to save something. Some part of this. So that this at this safety level, this person will definitely go for some bike also. For some car, not for car actually, for bike, for bicycle, everything. Okay, that is safety level. So, here what happens, this person is getting some amount, means uh, good amount as compared to the physiological level. Then comes the social level. Social level means higher salaries. From here, we typical middle to middle class comes in over here. Okay, so social level means here the person needs some social status. In that, in that case, the person needs a bike, good bike, a car, a good 1 BHK flat or 2 BHK flat. This is all social needs. Refrigerators are needed over here at the home. Okay. Then comes esteem need. Esteem is a bit, not a bit. It's actually the higher person, very rich person. Getting huge money. So this huge money is basically when, when you enter around 40 to 50 years of the age in your job. Okay. So esteem age, esteem. Here the person requires higher car. Not that Maruti Alto I was having it. So what is this Alto? bring new one okay so esteem i want mercedes benz i want to show off to the world this is esteem and last one is actualization here the person is a typically at a retirement age means here the person says okay any car okay let's go i need to invest in my life first okay here the person has not uh, is not receiving any salary now typically we are talking of the job person in actualization phase that this person is generally the retired person not receiving any salary so in that case what happens if you don't receive any salary that person is okay calm so now we are, let's focus on this question see this triangle it will be helpful to you in many of the questions in today's lecture okay so remember these five levels and their typical peculiarities over here so to meet the physiological needs of the customers, bank bankers offer which of the following? Physiological we are talking of. Look at this. Physiological means we are talking of which level now? We are talking of this basic level. Okay. So which accounts are given? See here we want which one is not correct. Okay. We want what is, what is false. So what we'll do? We'll typically typically write it over here. True, 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 and false, false, false. So A is BSBA, basic savings bank account. What is this BSBA? 
BSBA means basically the general accounts. So that is true. General account is for this physiological level only. Personal accident insurance cover. This is also true. Many of you might think, what is this? Why insurance cover is needed for this person? That person needs the basic insurance cover. Because this person is the one who is actually working on the field. So that's why it's true. Of course, the cost should be less. It, but obvious, the cost should be less. Consumer loans, I'll come to this soon. But first D, low cost housing loans. Yes, this person will need a housing, right? The, it's basic right of every human being to get a house, to get food and to get the clothing. These are the three basic needs. So low cost housing, low cost housing is an important part and that's also true. Now I'll come to this consumer loans. Will this person need consumer loans? This person, what did we say, daily earner. This consumer loans are given for what? White goods, refrigerator, washing machine. Will this person go for washing machine? If this person has a daily problem of earning, this person won't go for this. So this is false over here. Okay, and we want this answer only, not correct. So which one of them is not correct? Consumer loans. Okay, all of them is out typically, okay. So, to meet the physiological needs of any customer, banks offer the following, means which do not offer the following. Consumer loans are not offered over here. Consumer loans are offered from this level. You can call it from safety level. Safety also you can call it from here. This, this level we offer them. Because even if the safety person goes for some, goes for some white goods, like refrigerator is there in the safety level also. Okay. Tax planning, insurance, mutual fund, products are requirements by the customer, are required by the customer to meet their physiological needs, safety, security, social needs, and esteem. Now let's go back to this. Okay, what will I do is, I'll just, hold on, I'll just copy this, okay? Yeah, because we'll be needing this uh, table every now and then, okay? So we'll just copy it somewhere, okay, and keep it. So let me get one one thing. Hold on. Okay. So this will go back and forth. That's easy, isn't it? So now what are we talking of? Again, here I'll just write this over here now. Okay. We'll not draw the triangle. Physiological, then safety, then social, social. This is safety. This is esteem. And this is actualization. Okay. So now, tax planning, insurance, mutual fund products, uh, mutual fund products are required by the customers to meet their physiological, safety, security, social. See this tax planning. Who get who goes for tax planning? Tax planning. Will this person go for tax planning? No. Right. Then insurance, mutual funds are required to meet what? Insurance and these are required for what? Insurance and mutual funds are required for basically safety needs. This is a part of safety only, isn't it? Everyone, see here, when we see, when we say that safety needs are required, it doesn't mean social is not required over here. From safety needs above, that is the meaning over here. So this insurance, tax planning, mutual fund, they start from safety and they go above. Even the person with esteem needs, needs tax planning. Even the person with actualization needs, Needs is insurance, mutual fund and tax planning. So starting from this, everywhere it goes above. But do you mean that this physiological person doesn't need insurance? Yes, there is insurance needed. That's why what did we say earlier? Health insurance. This is the typical low cost health insurance which is given by the government nowadays. See here, wherever private companies don't focus, private companies, okay? Private companies will always focus on this growing consumer demand. From safety, they'll focus on. But here, this 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 party, government will focus on. Government always focuses on these two aspects, mainly these two, okay? Starting from this to this. That's why we have all the Jandan schemes, low-cost housing schemes, right? Then Ayush ba Ayushman Bharat, many of these schemes are there. These are generally for safety and physiological. So tax planning, insurance, mutual fund are products required by customers to meet their typically security and safety needs okay this so starting from safety and security it goes higher huh? remember this again i am telling you 
acts to satisfy the safety or security needs uh, as per Maslow's theory of the customer, the bank offers which of the following products. So satisfy the safety and security. Huh? Now we are talking of the second level. Okay. So I'll just write this here. Every time we require this physiological, safety, social, you should always remember it by heart. Esteem, at least the levels. Okay. Esteem and then it's actualization. Right. To satisfy the safety and security needs the um, of a customer, the bank offers which of the following products. So which are the uh, products offered in this level? We are talking of this level right now. Okay. So RD, FD, mutual fund, housing loans, car loans. RD, FD, mutual fund, housing loans, car loans, tax planning and insurance. RD, FD, tax planning, insurance, mutual fund products. Personal loan, consumer loan, housing loan, car loan. Which is the correct one over here? Let me see how many of you can answer this. Very typical, you can see a common thing over here. There is something common in all these answers except one. What is that common? What is that common? Everyone, check this. What is the common thing which is not required over here? Housing loans? No, housing loans is required. See here, even the safety person or physiological person, these two, as I told you earlier, housing, clothing and food are the basic necessities of any human being. So, housing loan is required. So, this is not a common thing which is not required. Remember, typical, typically given over here is car loan. This car loan, is it required at a safety level? Car is bought at the social level. Once the person has enough money, so safety is at safety level, the person does not require car, but this person requires some in savings. What is RD for? RD is for savings. Per month, I'll save something. Similarly, similar to RD nowadays, we have mutual fund SIPs, right? SIP. So instead of uh, placing the money in this RD, somebody can place in this uh, SIPs also. FD is fixed deposit for, again, for typical requirement, right? Long-term requirement. Tax planning. Now, tax planning is not that much, but at least filing the tax returns. That is important over here. Tax planning, right? Insurance. Insurance means this requires typical low-cost insurance. If I give this insurance to the safety person of, let's say, 1 lakh premium per year or 2 lakh premium per annum, this person won't buy it. Buy it. 2 lakh premium will be bought over year, esteem. So that's why it requires typical low cost insurance. So to secure the security and safety needs of the customer, bank offers, offers these products, not the car loan. Okay, so car loan, car loan, car loan. Wherever there is a car loan, safety is out. Okay, so RD, FD, tax planning, insurance, mutual fund products. Got it? Next one. Everyone download Adda 24-7 app on your mobile. In this app, you will be getting typical, say this. In this app, you get mainly remember all the um, this, uh, uh, lectures, okay? Uh, premium study material plus live classes, ebooks, tests, everything you require. Whatever you require, you get it over here. What do you require for clearing any exam? We require generally the ebooks we require the classes we require the test all of them are there okay so just give me one minute i'll make some changes over here So now, hold on. Which of the following products, banking products, are not meant to meet the social needs? So which of them are not meant to meet the social needs? You can tell me. One second. Which of the following products are not meant to meet the social needs? You can tell me. Yes. It is. <coughs> Which of the following products is not meant to uh, uh, 
are not meant to meet the social needs of the bank customers. So not meant, huh? we want not meant over here. Not meant to meet the social needs, not meant. Okay. So loans to professionals by doctors, lawyers. So yeah, we want now false. Huh? So social needs, social needs is this, this is typically true because doctors, lawyers require some social needs. Social needs mean that there is the status of that uh, doctor, right? So, so uh, this is required. Basic savings banks account, BSBA, this is not required. This is typically uh, for the physiological needs, right? That level which we give you, P, then uh, safety, then social. Then this is typically for this physiological needs. So, this is not required. Consumer loans, it's definitely required over here. Car loans definitely required. So the answer over here is B. Okay. Everyone got it? Clear? <coughs> Products such as retail gold chain and gold coins, health policies, unit linked insurance products, insurance cover tag to the housing and car loans is the requirement of dash needs as per Maslow's theory. See this, retail gold coins, health policies, ULIP, these are required where self-actualization, esteem, security, social needs, only B, C and D. So B, C and D. So these gold coins, health policies, unit linked insurance products, Insurance are tagged to housing and car loans here. Tagged to housing and car loans. Now look at this. The question is not of this health policies or ULIP. It's like this. The question is like this. This is one basket. This basket is what? This gold coin. Coin. Then second is what? Health insurance. Health. Health policy. Policy. Right. Then third one is this ULIP. Okay. Now, what is the point over here? This is one basket and it is tagged to another basket. See here, tagged to housing and car loan. See, you take the housing loan from me and I'll give you this free housing, car, loans. Huh? So, bank will tell this customer, you take housing loan from me, I'll give you a gold coin. You take housing loan from me, I'll give you a health policy. So, this category is which category? This category is, is it self-actualization category? Is it esteem category? Is this security? Is this social? Self-actualization means what? Typically, what did we see? Self-actualization level means that person is above this, retired person. Okay. So, gold coin and everything, that person already has huge money. Okay. For example, typically, suppose if a very rich person is also called as self-actualization level person. If you go to Ambani and tell him, Let's see, I am giving you, buy housing loan from me, take a gold coin, we will give you gold coin. Ambani will say, I won't buy housing loan, I will buy a housing loan company, isn't it? That's the level. So, it is typically needed in these three levels, B, C and D. So, it's only E, B, C and D. Typically, this is the point because self-actualization level person does not require any of these, okay, because why, what is the need for this person? Right? So, this person is already already retired. Okay? So, this person won't require anything like this. Okay? So, now, everyone, before going, let me give you some uh, points over here. See this. Everyone, subscribe to Officers at that 24-7 YouTube channel over here. In this channel, you will be getting the latest updates on JIB and CIB and free YouTube series on all the subjects of JIB and CIB. So that's why subscribe to it. Okay. So today is the third. Yeah, roughly. Isn't it? So 50 days, 50 classes, batches. Very important ones. They have, see, they have already started. So join this and watch them from the start. Okay. We are covering all the fresh questions and the new questions which are regularly asked in the exams now. We are typically dealing with chapter 4 and 5 now. So let's start. For esteem needs, sir, some questions were covered yesterday. 
regarding this Maslow. Chapter number four is mainly for this Maslow's hierarchy. Okay. So for esteem needs in terms of Maslow's motivation theory for customers, the bank of banks offer the following products to the customers here. What is the esteem need? Yesterday I took this uh, uh, schedule again, means Maslow's hierarchy. You can draw it any time. See here, it's very simple. It's like this. Okay. So it goes from firstly, it's a triangle actually. Okay. Let me draw it a triangle only. Okay. Typical triangle we'll draw because everyone is used to this triangle, right? Maslow's hierarchy is basically a triangle. Okay. At the lowest level is a physiological need. Physiological. Okay, physiological need. Then afterwards it comes to safety needs. Safety. Then comes social. Okay, social. Then comes esteem. Esteem. And last one is actualization. Actualization. Okay. So these are the five stages in Maslow's hierarchy. What does Maslow say? Maslow says every human being first goes in these uh, these linear stages only. First that person is in the physiological level means daily bread and butter, daily earning, then uh, daily giving. Okay? So that is basically the physiological need. Okay. Then comes the safety need. Safety need means what? Here the person's daily income is sufficient enough for his daily expenses and uh, yeah, his bread and butter, regular clothing, basic needs. Then the, there comes the safety need. Safety need means what? This person is able to save some amount. So here comes the part of your insurance, your bikes. Okay? Here the car, bikes and everything are not there. Car is not there over here. From here we go to social needs. Here the person is able to save more. So in that case the person needs one BHK flat. Okay, generally, this is also in the safety need, but this is low cost housing and here the person needs a, a bit higher range flat, 1 BHK or 2 BHK. Then social needs means this person needs car. Okay, so he has grown up the ladder. Okay, then there is esteem need. Esteem need means that person has grown up now in the job or in the business. Now this person needs a higher category of car. If he was having, he or she was having Maruti Alto over here, now they are needing some bigger car. Okay, you can call it higher range. I don't, I, even I don't know the higher ranges. It can be Mercedes Benz also. Okay. And then is the actualization stage where the person has retired from his job. Now that person has no job, he is just living a still life, calm life. So that is known as actualization. So typically, as per these stages, we have to design the products for the bank so that the customers should be targeted right in the right way. Okay. So for esteem needs of the customers, the banks offer the following products for the same. So which are those special term deposit products, term insurance products, housing loans and housing house improvement loans. So what do we offer for esteem? Esteem means this is a typical person who is having large amount means some good salary high package okay this is all listing so what do we offer to them special term deposit term insurance products housing loan or home improvement loans so what do you what is it okay let me see from your side a a to c all b is a and b only b and c only a and c only so what is the special term deposit products? Yes, we can offer. Why? Because this customer here, what does RBI say? RBI has given a typical logic to the banks now. Below 1 lakh, you continue with the same, uh, the rates which are common to all the customers. Okay. Above 1 lakh, you can give the specific uh, rate of interest for a specific customer. That has been freed now for the banks. So these are called as special term deposit products. Suppose if some esteemed customer means some person earning around 5 lakhs per month. If that person comes to you for a FD of let's say 50 lakhs. Okay. So in that case, what will you do? Will you give him, the, give him or her the same rate of interest as for others? No. You can give him or her some special rates. So that is known as special term deposit. Term insurance product. These are also sold. Term insurance means higher uh, range can be given. Higher sum assured can be given. 
home loans and home improvement loans these are these can also begin because these are typical customers suppose somebody is earning 5 lakhs per month what do you mean by this 5 lakhs per month so this person will definitely have the capacity to pay your emis so definitely i can give this so the answer will be this a to c all for esteem needs we will give them special term deposits term insurance products and housing loans and home improvement pensioner loans retirement loans in the banking and pension plans in insurance and senior citizens term deposit products are offered by the banks to, for the customer to satisfy their dash needs typical now you will find the answer here only pensioner loans pensioner means what any pensioner pensioner means what that person has left the job retirement solutions right retirement solutions means monthly income that is known as retirement solutions pension plans in insurance and senior citizen term deposits so these all products are given to whom self actualization needs esteem needs security needs social needs if you check this i had given you this table right in this triangle where does the person with 60 plus years who has left the job lie that person lies in esteem actualization social yes correct that person lies in actualization level so to satisfy their self actualization level correct got it clear so pensioner loan these are all here pensioner loan means what the one who is having the pension based on that pension banks give the loan do you know this banks give the loan to the pensioners based on the pension retirement solutions right like after retirement what okay monthly income should be there then pension plans in insurance so all these things are given to the senior citizens okay everyone download adda 24/7 app on your mobile in this app you will be getting the premium study material plus live classes ebooks tests whatever you need for clearing the jib and cib you will get it over here okay classes are there ebooks are there tests are there what all do you need more right so download this app immediately and start studying okay there are certain customers uh, expectations about the service quality of the bank which include tangibility reliability responsiveness assurance and empathy now what are these now what do you mean by this here customer expectations customer is expecting something what does the customer expect customer expects a good service what do you mean by good service good service means all these tangibility means here service is such a sector where which cannot be seen right suppose if you go to a doctor and the doctor treats you very well you get uh, means you your your whatever your disease is it gets cured so that is called as what that you are satisfied about the service but how do you express it do you see anything do you have some goods like you go in the refrigerator shop and buy a refrigerator you get a refrigerator at home but when you go to a doctor and then he, that doctor cures you what do you get you get nothing it's in the air so that's called as intangible so that intangible needs to be converted to tangible how is it converted see this suppose if in your bank if the customer comes and there is a huge dust dust full files are there dust file piles means files means these files are in huge numbers on each table what will the customer feel the customer will feel that this these guys are not working at all so that is intangibility converted to tangibility second is reliability reliability means the customer must whenever the customer gives you any job or something to do account opening let's say so you must the that customer must feel that you are reliable person the bank is a reliable bank suppose if that customer puts fd in your bank and your bank collapses or defaults then the reliability is in question mark right so reliability is an important factor responsiveness responsiveness means i must be able to respond to the customer immediately in the given turn around time tat we call it tat responsiveness is typically related to tat turn around time right responsiveness then assurance assurance means that customer must get an assurance from you that yes the job will be done otherwise what happens it was a typical mentality in the nationalized banks earlier not now earlier it was there that uh, once the customer gives some documents 
then you say okay i'll check into it and afterwards what happens after one week you call that person sir two documents are pending then the customer gives the two documents again after one week you call that customer sir this one document was left out so this creates a bad assurance or a bad uh, this image so assurance means the customer must be assured that yes all the documents are given now my account will be opened empathy thinking from the customer's point of view this is very important thinking from the customer's point of view you must be able to feel what that customer is going through if some customer is in the urgency of doing any transaction there might be a genuine reason right so empathy means thinking from the customer's angle so what does the customer expects the customer ex- expects everything a to e all right isn't it these all define the service quality got it the customers expect the bank to be willing to help them and provide prompt service this falls under which customer expectation now this is typical question and everyone will get clean bold on this let me get the answer let's see customer is expecting the bank to be willing to help them and provide them prompt service prompt means fast so under which category will it fall reliability responsiveness assurance and empathy very typical question what do you say prompt service prompt okay and help them prompt service means everyone is it reliability reliability means that customer must feel reliable that must feel that you are reliable that is the basic logic you are reliable that the customer can be self uh, assured that the, yes the job can be done once it is given to this banker okay so reliability and assurance means roughly one and the same thing empathy means thinking from the customer's angle so the right answer to this is prompt service we are talking of we are talking of b responsiveness this will fall under the category of responsiveness okay typical got it such questions are asked in the exam now these are very confusing as such because this is this is actually the test of english not the test of rbw right so you must understand the english properly everyone subscribe to officers at that 24/7 youtube channel so this cha- in this channel you will be getting the latest updates on jib and cib from iibf iibf gives various notifications on a regular basis and those are typical to understand typical to understand many a times so those are explained on this channel number 1 so that's why important part is updates again second important part is free yt series free yt always remember this see right now what are you watching 2000 mcqs right means all the mcqs on various uh, topics of rbwm similarly you can have you'll be having these on the same offices at that 24/7 youtube channel all the uh, this uh, uh, 2000 mcq series for various subjects of jib and cib as well so that's why subscribe to it click on the bell icon share it with your friends like it okay share it in the social media because sharing is caring okay next one the bank should be approachable and easy to contact besides the bank staff should communicate in the language with the customers which the customers understand the bank staff should make efforts to know the customers and their needs this falls under which of the following customer expectation very typical answer see here i have marked the typical uh, the points over here known to the customers and their needs reliability responsiveness assurance and empathy very typical who can give me the answer yeah it is the bank should make efforts to know the customers and their needs when you know the needs of the customer suppose if some customer is in a hurry very hurry serious that customer is having some hospital payment to be done it can happen hospital payment there is some payment to be done nft rtgs to be done for hospital urgent operation is there so that's what what does it mean it means that you should be empathetic empathy empathy means what thinking from in customer shoes putting yourself putting yourself i'll just write yourself in customer shoes 
okay customer shoes mean thinking from the customer's angle customer's angle what all problems the customer might be facing okay so this is known as empathy means putting yourself in the customer's shoes typical one we bankers always lack in this we always think from our angle bahut cut cut kar raha hai customer this customer is really headache yaar since last 10 minutes this customer is coming back to the counter and saying rtjs ho gaya kya nft ho gaya kya rtjs ho gaya kya what is this man we also have a work but check what the problem with that customer is there might be some serious issue with that customer so that is thinking from the customer's angle okay very important point because unless you are empathetic you won't understand the needs of that customer and unless you don't understand the needs of that customer you won't be able to serve that customer properly right customer expects that the bank that uh, if there is a, some problem in the entry of the in the bank statement they should be corrected immediately similarly if certain charges are debited incorrectly the amount should be restored quickly this expectation of the customer falls under which of the following category so the customer expects the bank that if there is a, there is a, some problem with the entries of the bank then they should be corrected immediately corrected immediately okay second is if there are certain charges to be debited incorrectly the amount should be restored quickly restored what is this reliability responsiveness assurance empathy if there is some if i come to your branch sir these are the wrong charges which you have debited and actually they are wrong ma'am these are the wrong charges actually they are wrong then what do i expect as a customer that restore it what do you mean by this it means i am expecting responsiveness response from your side fast response see here, today responsiveness means what fastness fastness okay if you feel the charges are correct then immediately respond to that customer with politeness let's see these are the bank charges and these are the xyz typical charges so they can't be restored if they are correct but if they are wrong then you need to change them immediately okay so that is known as responsiveness okay which of the following statement regarding the satisfaction level of the customer is not correct not okay i want the answer now false which of them is false this is my question mark fulfillment of customer needs can be measured from the satisfaction level of the customers means fulfillment of customer needs what what the customer needs can be measured from the satisfaction level means how do you know the satisfaction level of that customer sir whenever the customer comes to the branch the satisfaction in the, is known from the face itself from the dialogue itself but if you are working on the e channels virtual channels so how do i know i am not seeing that customer neither that machine is seeing that customer how will it know then we give the response forms right feedback forms some stars five star four star three yeah. you hear this on your typical call centers right if you are satisfied press one if you are not satisfied go on pressing all these up to five whatever it is okay so that is known through what satisfaction level okay second so this is what true or false so this is true but i want false satisfaction comes out of customers experience of products means it depends on customers experience what do you mean by experience if the customer is happy about the product which you have given or the service which you have given that customer will give you five star rating write some good comments in the comment section if that customer is unsatisfied then that customer will give you uh, this one star or zero star rating right bad comments so this is also true what about the next one the experience is same in case of all services of the banks my god is this true the experience is same in case of all services means what does the customer get same experience in all the services sometimes what happens some customer might be having good account relationships means liability relationship but if that customer comes for the loan that customer might have a bad experience so it's not the same in all the services so the experience is same in all the services of the banks is false false okay so this is basically the answer required c 
okay which of them is not correct okay regarding the satisfaction level got it clear simple next one as per the basic segmentation of the customers based on their income levels super affluent customers have the following income levels super affluent very typical super affluent customers have the typical <coughs> this uh, income level super affluent this is a typical answer 10 to 50 lakhs 50 to 400 lakhs 400 to 4000 lakhs 4000 to this what this much in fact lakhs and these figures are so big okay so 4000 to 1 lakh 20 thousand lakhs means huge amount okay so super affluent will belong to which group what do you say depends on bank to bank okay but typical answer will be for this anyone what do you think typical answer yes super affluent now this is really tricky let me see how many of you can answer this really tricky one yeah super affluent this is a typical answer and i just want here i can give you the answer right now but the problem is i want you to think check on the google see here just pause this video check on the google check it on the google what does this google say okay what does the google say check it yeah what does the google say yes yes sir i told you I'll, i can give you the answer the pro answer is here okay i've got many answers from you it is same 50 to 400 lakhs this is means lakhs huh? even 50 means not 50 rupees it is 50 lakhs to 400 lakhs remember this it is 10 lakhs to 50 lakhs it's not a 10 rupees to 50 lakhs okay 50 lakhs to 400 lakhs so super affluent customer means the one whose income is 50 lakhs to 400 lakhs okay Hi friends, welcome to Adda 24-7. We are in the 2000 MCQ series for RBW. We are covering important MCQs for all the chapters. And today we are in chapter number 4 and 5. Okay, so let's start. Follow the series completely. Everyone I would suggest here. This is chapter number 4 and 5. Up to, up to now we have covered chapter number 1, 2, 3 also. And all the important questions are covered. Never lose out on this same time same channel every day okay so let's start as per the basic segmentation of the customer based on the income levels the high net worth customer will have the following income level high net worth sure yesterday's lecture if you have followed how many of you have followed yesterday's lecture type yes in the comment section how many of you have followed the yesterday's lecture type yes in the comment section everyone high net worth Yesterday I had covered the affluent person. Yesterday's question was similar, but the question was affluent. Affluent. Okay. And for that affluent person, the answer was this. This was the answer for affluent. But now I, I am talking of HNI. So HNI will be one step ahead. So this HNI guy will be over here. 400 to uh, 4000 lakh. Huge amount. 400 lakh. Can you imagine this amount? Anyone? 400 lakh okay means how much it is 4 crores 4 crores to 40 crores this much income is that of the HNI okay annual income okay so as per the basic segmentation remember affluent person these are called as affluent persons affluent means 50, uh, 50 lakh to 400 lakhs here 50 to 400 year means what it's not rupees 50 it is 50 lakh to 400 lakh here it is 10 lakh to 50 lakh here it is 400 lakh to 40 lakh 4000 lakh okay so hni is from 400 lakh to 4000 lakh got it everyone as per the maslow's need hierarchy theory the needs can be classified as so now maslow's need hierarchy theory will classify what is this physiology mental safety social and esteem now some of one of them you'll have to check okay let me see the answer from your side physiological then mental safety social and esteem let's draw the Ma maslow's triangle everyone what is that maslow's triangle everyone knows 
फर्स्ट वॉज फिजियोलॉजिकल ओके फिजियोलॉजिकल सेकेंड वन फिजियोलॉजी मीन्स वॉट फिजियोलॉजी मीन्स बेसिक डेली अर्नर डेली अर्नर मीन्स टूडे इंडी ईटिंग टूडे स्पेंडिंग कंप्लीट जीरो सो दैट इज फिजियोलॉजिकल लेवल द डेली वेजेस पर्सन ऑल दीज कम अंडर फिजियोलॉजी सेकेंड इज सेफ्टी सेफ्टी मीन्स अ बिट हायर दैन दिस पर्सन दैट पर्सन इज अर्निंग अ मंथली सैलरी ओके मंथली सैलरी जस्ट इनफ टू कवर हिज और हर नीड्स not much saving is there in this this also okay the next after this comes social needs here the person is having higher salary social okay either he or she might be in the bank isn't it so social needs here the person is having enough income to save also some part can be saved that's why that person can buy a bike that by a person can buy a car also Can that person can buy a house also? Okay, so this is social. And next one is esteem. Esteem. Esteem means this person is the rich person, huge income. This person is having the uh, the needs also different. If this person was having a car, normal car, Maruti Suzuki at that time, Alto. Now this person will be having esteem. some higher range car okay any company i am not uh, specifically propagating maruti or anyone okay any any company high end car similarly over here last one actualization actualization means here the person is retired generally okay actualization here the person is retired enjoying his uh, his or her pension okay so this is known as these are the five stages of maslow's hierarchy now check which one is not there physiology mental which is this mental this is not there safety is there social is there esteem is there and actualization has been replaced by mental so which is the correct one now a c d and e so where is the answer a c d and e so answer is d a c d and e the correct sequence is physiology then safety then social then esteem and then Uh, actualization the why is this maslow's hierarchy important this maslow's hierarchy is important because the products are to be designed in this way for example suppose if i tell you i want to design a insurance product which will have a premium of 10 lakhs per year 10 lakhs per year whom should i target should i target this physiology this person the person who is a daily earner no If should I target the safety person? Even this person is of no use. If we should I target the social person? Even this person is of no use. All these three are of no use for this ten lakh premium per annum. Only the two persons which are useful are actualization and esteem. So that's why this Maslow's hierarchy is important. In this hierarchy, it gives you right thing which product is to be targeted to which type of customer. Got it? Clear? Move on. Which of the following is not correctly matched in context of the service quality of the bank services? So not currently matched. Huh? We wanted false one now. Not correctly matched. Physical sides of the, of the services, tangibility in services, sticking to agreed terms and promises, reliability, competence, courtesy, credibility, security. That is empathy. willingness to help and extend prompt support and service so that is responsiveness now we want which of them is not correctly matched means it should be a wrong definition so let's see this let me show you see this physical side of the services tangibility is this correctly matched what do you mean by physical side of the services suppose if somebody comes in your branch and there is a huge dust dusty fans dusty tables Use file loads on your tables. Every employee is having files. That employee is not able to listen to that customer also. So in that case, what will it be called as? This is tangibility. Tangibility means which that person can feel. Understand the word. It means what the person can feel. Feel over here. 
it should be visible it should be touched anything all of our five senses are there so any of these five senses they should be, uh, the person should be able to touch feel anything the service quality cleanliness should be there no files the customer the employee should be courteous courteous means helpful okay so that is known as the physical side so this is correct so we'll write it as true over here what about this the sticking to the agreed terms and promises and that is reliability agreed terms means what suppose if i come to your branch and i tell you sir kindly open this account today only some fund, funds are going to come tomorrow morning you say yes yes, yes i'll open and you don't open then what happens will i consider you as a reliable person no reliability means whatever is discussed between us that should be followed in total we call it in total again okay? so that is again true but we want false what do we want not correctly competency courtesy credibility security and that is empathy this is wrong this is false why right? empathy means not all these empathy means thinking from the customer's angle it's simply written like this empathy means putting yourself yourself okay in the shoes of the customer in shoes of customer okay so that is known as empathy okay putting yourself in the shoes of the customer means thinking from the customer's angle whenever any customer comes to you for fast service want something else sir kindly issue me this dd fast kindly do this neft fast because why i have to answer to somebody so that is no what we have to we can't we as the bankers what do we do they go now there are three neft is pending with me two rtj is pending with me i'll do this after this i can't do it right now okay yes or no either you give it or you don't give it i don't care this is not empathy empathy means i must understand the seriousness of, of that customer it can happen that out of five all of them are not that urgent this guy is urgent so we need to understand the customer's problems then only because we are in service industry so this is false empathy means putting yourself in the shoes of the customer and what about the last one willingness to help and extend prompt service and that is responsiveness obviously that is true means suppose what do you mean by respond how do i respond in time that is important here yeah. time is an important factor in responsiveness suppose if i if you ask me can i open the account urgently i open the account but i open that account in after two weeks what's the use you want it urgently so prompt service is an important factor always remember in responsiveness important point is we bankers now everywhere lagging nowadays means specifically i'm talking about nationalized banks we all are lagging in this responsiveness that's why these private banks are eating up the businesses remember responsiveness means we should be fast and accurate for that we need to have the knowledge for that uh, if you have the to have the knowledge you need to clear this jib and cib we need knowledgeable bankers in our country banker doesn't mean now which we had earlier do you know one principle that was there in the banking that's called as 363 anyone knows 363 even before me 363 okay, what was that 363 principle that was basically non responsiveness 363 means i gave my deposits at 3% so deposit rate was 3% this was during the rbi control regime i get the loan at 6% so loan at 6% so i earn 3% right so 3% deposit 6% income i am earning 3 and what is this 3 then home by 3 pm home by 3 pm this was a scene in nationalized banks before the advent of private banks this was a scene home by 3 pm can you imagine this now can you imagine this by 3 pm forget 3 pm i would say 6 pm can you be at home at by 6 pm today not possible because why is this situation come this situation has come because the earlier things means uh, 
earlier we are we were in the controlled economy okay so in controlled economy what used to happen the customer was not the king now the customer is the king the customer whatever the customer demands you have to change your products according to that and with the advent of the private banking and nowadays this private banking has shifted now it has gone to neo banking neo banking is a new banking stage so neo banking uh, we have a layer banks now layer banks you can you just watch it check out on google neo banks new term coming up okay so this neo banks this change, things have changed a lot Everyone download Adda 24/7 app on your mobile. In this app, you will be getting the premium study material plus live classes, e-books, tests, whatever we require for clearing JIB and CIB, we will get it over here. We require mainly three things: one is classes, second is notes, and third is online uh, this test. So all the three are available. So that's why download it right now. Okay. In retail banking, dash is the beginning point of the marketing process. Now this is very important. Dash is the beginning point of the marketing process. So, which is the beginning point? Just check the options. Yeah. Dash is the beginning point of the marketing. What do you say? This is very typical. Yeah. Very typical. Who can give me the answer? Yes. <coughs> product development product selling product or the customer what can be the answer over here typical one sears it all stands on some basics every process every marketing every sales stands on the basics that product that is known as product your product is the beginning of the marketing process why because i'll tell you simple example i'll give you hmm. we saw that master's hierarchy physiological level lowest level right physiological suppose if i am physiology if i sell a product of let's say savings account premium savings account giving all the features this feature that feature nft fast rtgs fast fast titanium card this card that card that much credit everything i'm giving but the average balance on this account is let's say 2 lakh rupees per month average means amb mab we call it so let's say this mab is 2 lakh so you are giving all the features but is it useful to this person physiology person not at all 2 lakh is something which this person can't think of so that's why this 2 lakh this product is of no use to this physiology person so that's why product is very important who am i targeting depending on the customer base and the hierarchy which you are targeting you have to design the product accordingly okay so product is the beginning point of the marketing process okay many of you might be thinking it as a customer customer is a point definitely customer is an important point but the point is if you are you are having good relationships with the customers everything is good but if you are not having the product right the customer will say good about you but the customer won't buy this product simple the add on and other value propositions are attached to the product with a view to sell the product make the product more competitive offer better value and acceptance and all of the above what is this add on and other value propositions what do you mean by add on add on proposition and other value means See here. If you open a savings account with me, see here. I'll give you. You open a savings account with me, savings, okay? And then I'll give you um, general insurance, health insurance, health insurance worth two crores, two crore health insurance. I'll give you a credit card, credit card. Okay, I'll give you that also. Or I'll give you something. Uh, even I can give you foreign tour. depending on the winning the lottery winning right so add on and other propositions are attached with the product with the view to why why do i am why am i attaching this to sell the product obviously that is the answer because my basic logic is to sell the product make the product more competitive that is also true whatever my competitor is given i am giving i'll have to give it accordingly only 
right so make the product more competitive that is also true offer a better value and acceptance that is also true better value what is value value means always the customer perceives or checks whatever the customer can get maximum in the same cost for example suppose if you are having this savings account even other bank your competitor bank is also having the savings account same savings account all the same features but if you are giving some health insurance of 2 crore so what does the customer think in that case customer thinks that yes i am getting the same benefits in both the banks but here i am getting health insurance extra so better value so that is known as better value so that is the answer so the answer is d all of the above i am here to sell my product i am here to make my product more competitive i am here to uh, offer the better value isn't it so the add on proposition is always given for all these features basic logic is always a basic logic sell the product that's it everyone subscribe to officers at that 24/7 youtube channel in this channel you will be getting the latest updates on iibf from iibf on jib and cib all the updates are immediately explained to you in video section it's in videos so understanding is simple second is youtube series right now what are you watching you are watching the free youtube series so similarly let me write it over here see this one is updates latest updates from iibf okay and second is free yt series free yt free yt youtube series okay so free youtube series is also available means right now you are watching the sankalp series similarly the sankalp series for other batches other subjects is also available so that's why subscribe to this channel click on the bell icon click the like button share it with your friends do it fast okay there are various stages from time to time uh, from the time the product is developed to the stage when the product is finished this is known as what product stages product life cycle product cycle and any of the above what is this known as stages from the time that the product is developed to the stage when the product is finished finished means product is over so it is known as everyone i'll draw it okay it is known as this now you'll get a hint you might have we might have done this earlier also anyone knows this graph what is this graph it is known as plc product life cycle okay and this graph is again sales versus time okay it's like this see this is it is introduction when the product is introduced over here introduction then second is growth here the product is growing then there is maturity here the product is matured and now there is decline it is a decline stage then introduction growth maturity and decline these are the four stages in the product life cycle very important plc from your exam point of view also you have to focus what why is this important because it gives you at what level your product is and how much input you must give to that product how much money you must spend okay in introduction phase we have to spend a lot because i am just introducing that product growth phase it automatically grows and gives me the income maturity phase highest sales and decline phase decline phase it is going down so i'll have to either close this product or i'll i'll have to give some additional features in that okay <clears throat> the following are the product life cycle stages just now i told you introduction maturity decline and growth all of them isn't it just now we saw this hi friends welcome to adda 247 we are in the 2000 mcq series for retail banking and wealth management here we are covering all the important objective questions all okay related to rbw so follow this series completely we are now, right now in chapter number 4 and 5 we are dealing with that so let's start without wasting the time first question we'll be dealing in mcqs only whichever are whichever can be asked in the exam to meet the social needs see here chapter number 4 and 5 are huh? mainly related to maslow to meet the social needs in terms of in terms of maslow's motivation theory of the customers 
the bank offers which of the following now social needs we want social okay firstly understand have you first tell me have you followed my earlier lectures in the same series last at least last one week there i have covered this maslow's theory in details okay i'll just cover it in a summary over here okay so maslow's theory is like this again okay, this simple one is physiological basic right physiological okay second physiological means very basic daily bread earner eat daily earn daily that's it no savings okay these are physiological second is safety safety okay safety means a bit higher than physiological that this person has a bit of savings third is social social means this person has considerable savings okay okay type of savings so that uh, this person can lead a normal life he uh, this person and his family okay the next this this is esteem rich very rich person and last one is actualization actualization means this person is the retired person generally in terms of job we are talking huh? in terms of job this person is a retired person okay so actualization so what are the need, what are the levels now physiological safety social esteem and actualization now social we are our question here is of social needs okay to meet the social needs of the customers banks offer which of the following social needs do the banks offer basic insurance basic what basic uh, savings bank account mean psba means like general account is general account uh, offered for this personal accident insurance cover is it offered over here personal accident insurance cover consumer loans low cost housing loans are these offered over here which one of them is offered rightly over here the right answer over here is consumer loans yes consumer loans okay because remaining three are generally for safety and physiological lower okay consumer loans is the right answer okay so if the question is asked social needs remember consumer loans personal loans all these bigger these loans these are generally given for social needs okay car loans consumer loans high end home loans high end huh? we are talking of high end home loans products are required by the customers to meet so these car loans sir car loan is required from all of these suppose if i draw it like this now physiological physiological then safety then social social i'm writing then esteem e and last one is actualization so if i use this consumer loan consumer loan can be used by remember consumer loan huh? just now we saw in this question that personal accident cover insurance this is used by the safety guys but remember personal accident is also used by this social needs so in exam the answer if the if it comes it will be generally e that will be b and c b and c generally yeah? because some of you might have ticked over this personal accident also so this can also be the answer consumer loans can also be other be the answer so b and c okay similarly over here what happens is some of the features are used by all of them for example car loans car loan is used by social person also esteem person also in fact safety person also if this person has a better saving generally this safety person safety level person does not go for car generally the social level person goes for the car so it can be used by anyone even actualization person can also buy the car a retired person can't retired person buy a car yes car loans consumer loans consumer loans are generally for what here consumer loans are generally not for this esteem and actualization consumer loans are generally for social okay social high end home loans so high end home loans now look at this now again there is a confusion high end home loans high end means what now again coming back to this consumer loans consumer loans i said cannot be but they can be a part of this consumer means can't a, can't a retired person have a consumer loan 
can't what is a consumer loan consumer loan means a loan required for buying white goods generally white goods refrigerator okay a refrigerator can't a retired person buy a refrigerator on loans that person can definitely so consumer loans can be a part of this also i just take it over here cross it now it is here this high end home loans and car loans so all of these can be the part of high end huh? high end means what rich now this actualization person is generally a rich person okay and this actualization person is you can i told you that seller retired person but remember there's one another category with of high end customers like let's say if you consider it of uh, very rich person who's uh, at the highest end of the uh, level of the pyramid means huge money okay that person is also called as actualization person so that person can also take this high end home loans rich class mumbai delhi metros metros you are having those posh localities those are all high end home loans so these come under what esteem social security physiological what does it cover mainly here out of these four answers what can be the answer this will be esteem okay because under esteem we have all these three even you have it in actualization also but the problem is here the option is not there for actualization you can have this actualization answer also over here okay so the out of these four the correct answer uh, seems to be esteem needs right because social needs person will go for home loan but this person won't go for high end home loans means this person can buy a flat of around 40 lakhs but this person can't buy a flat of around 5 crores okay these are called as high end home loans which of the following is not correctly matched in correct in context of the quality of the banking services so not correctly matched okay which of them is not correctly matched physical side and of the services that is tangibility so physical side of services means this tangibility means which we can touch feel okay tangibility meaning over here means feel feeling can be touch see see smell anything smell anything okay so anything which can be felt is known as a tangible so whenever any customer comes to your branch that customer first checks the feeling how's your branch how is your branch if there is a huge dust in the branch then there are uh, huge pile loads on your table so this is a uh, sign of you are not uh, at this disciplined you can say or responsive the customer has a bad image about this so tangibility means physical side agreed so this is true we want not correctly match true this is now for second sticking to the agreed terms and promises reliability so if some agreed terms and promises means if i agree something to the customer that i will give you so and so thing by tomorrow so if i uh, give the same to that customer then only that customer will consider me reliable otherwise the customer will call me like uh, this uh, indisciplined either or not reliable person right so that's why it is true competence courtesy credibility and security so these four are under empathy so is this correct match competence courtesy credibility security it's it is it for empathy it is for everyone yes is it for empathy no it is not for empathy empathy means what thinking from the customer's angle think from customer's angle okay what does it mean customer's angle what does it mean customer's angle means means suppose if that customer is in hurry let's say some there are certain customers who come in a lot of hurry kindly do this artijas very fast sir i need something something is to be given urgently then you'll say no i am having five artijas in my hand and today uh, this is your sixth one so i'll do it as per the sequence only so empathy means understanding that customer if these five artijas can be done after one minute or two minutes and this can be done in the first minute itself you, you should be able to do it depending on the urgency right so that much judgment we must have while working in the bank 
so competence courtesy credibility security these are not the part of empathy okay so this is a false combination okay so what do we want we want not correctly matched so answer is c c is not correctly matched okay clear everyone everyone download adar 24/7 app on your mobile in this app you will be getting the premium study material plus live classes ebooks tests whatever we need for clearing jib and cib we get it here we need what do we need for clearing cib or jib anything you need two things only two points which are three points okay which are the three points basically you need see this you will be needing importantly uh this first is uh, classes second is books and third is the tests so all the three you are getting it over here okay so that's why remember join this uh, download this app right now and join it immediately okay start studying immediately let's yeah move on go ahead to satisfy the security and safety needs now look at this security and safety okay again maslow's safety needs of the customers uh, customers the bank offers which of the following products now security and safety uh, again go back to this physiological then safety safety then social then esteem and last one is actualization two so to satisfy the security and safety needs of the customer the bank offers which of the following products so safety and security this one safety we are talking of safety over here okay rd fd mutual fund housing loan car loans rd fd mutual fund housing loan car loans tax planning and insurance rd fd tax planning insurance mutual fund and uh, products personal loan consumer loan housing loan and car loan so safety needs safety means what what did i tell you about safety person this person is just above the physiological person now tell me we are just below the lowest person so will this person ever be thinking of car this person will think mainly of the bikes two wheeler right so this car loan is of no use to this person this car loan okay if this car loan wouldn't have been there in this option then this could have been any of these could have been the answer but right now as the car loan is added a b and d are out answer is only c rd fd tax planning insurance mutual fund now what do you mean by this you'll say sir why will this person go for tax planning see here this person is above physiological level means this person has to find the itr it can be zero uh, itr also okay but this person has to find it insurance low cost insurance we call it low cost low means what low premium okay mutual fund only 500 rupees or uh, 200 rupees per month Okay, five hundred per month. Even that can be uh, given to this person. Okay, RD, FD, tax planning. These are the products which this safety person will look at. Okay, because this person is a bit above the physiological person. So what happens? This person has got some money left in his pocket after spending. Okay. which of the following banking products are meant for meeting the social needs of the bank now social needs which of the following products look at the social needs are meant uh, are meant means this is what we want now loans to professionals such as doctors lawyers etc basic uh, bank savings bank account consumer loans and personal loans and both a and c now tell me See this doctors, lawyers. They are in which category? Again, see here. Every time you have to draw this. Whenever you see the question on Maslow's, physiological, safety, social, esteem, and actualization. Now, doctor lies in which category? Doctor is not a physiological, not a safety. This doctor lies in this social category generally. the clinic which the doctor has that will that will lie in generally social category okay so for meeting the banking products means following banking products are met for the social needs so which are the social needs lawyer loans to professionals so loans to doctors uh, cas all these lawyers these will this will come under the social category so a can be the answer what about b bsba is for whom physiological p 
right? Consumer loans and personal loans, yes. This is again for social. So this can also be the answer. So A and C, both A and C. So the answer is really D1, okay? Both A and C. Because this leads to uh, this uh, loan to professionals such as doctors, lawyers. These all come under the social category or esteem category. Okay. Even consumer loans given to any human being or personal loans given. This is generally for social needs guys. Okay. Everyone subscribe to Officers Adda 24-7 YouTube channel. In this channel, you will be getting the latest uh, information about IIBF from IIBF. Okay. Whatever IBF issues, the notifications for JIB and CIB is get it over here. That's why immediately subscribe to this channel. And number two, you are getting free YT series, YouTube series here. I'll write it over here. Importantly, remember, you get latest info, updates from IBF. Okay, number one. Number two, what do you get? You get, second, free YT series. Means what? Right now, what are you watching? You are watching this 2000 MCQ series. What is that? That is free YT series. So similarly, for free YT series, remember, for all the subjects, you get it over here. So that's why subscribe to Officers at that 24-7 YouTube channel right now. Okay. Share it. Click uh, like this. Share it with your friends. Okay. Click on the bell icon. Okay. Products such as pensioner loans are the requirement of dash needs. Now, pensioner loans, pensioner, pensioner loans. What did I say about this pensioner, guys? Again, see, uh, this is the base of your hierarchy. Physiological, safety, social, esteem, and last one is actualization. So, this pensioner comes under which category? Just now I told you when we started, pensioner comes under this actualization category. Okay, so products such as pensioner loans are requirements of self actualization needs category. Okay, so what all the, does this person require? See, a reverse mortgage. We have a special category under this. Okay, a reverse mortgage. So this reverse mortgage loan is also a part of this actualization okay then uh, this pensioner loans even some tours means foreign tours okay all these pensioners go for foreign tours also nowadays many of them because they have worked a lot during their working time so now they want some freedom that's why they go for the foreign tours also so pensioner loans reverse mortgage loans some other loans also which are of high end means even these pensioners buy Big houses as well because they have huge money. So they can buy the huge ha big houses also. Okay. So coming back to the question, products such as pensioner loans is a requirement of self-actualization needs. So answer is A. Okay. The following product life cycle has huge investment and lesser sales. Now what is this? This is something different. Product life cycle we are talking of. What is the product life cycle? Firstly, tell me that. Suppose if I draw this, this graph is again sales. Sales versus time. Okay, sales versus time. So, in this case, what will happen? Suppose if I draw this, it is like this. This PLC we call it, product life cycle. Means every product goes from this phase that is called as introduction, I. Then it goes to growth, growth, G. Then it goes to maturity, M. And then it goes to last one, decline, okay, decline, D. So it, this is the basic rule or basic theory or basic lifestyle followed by any product. Not only product, we also follow the same stage in our life, isn't it? Introduction, we are in the childhood. Then we grow. We work, means uh, we go for the job or we are in the ages of 20, 25 growth. Then maturity comes at 45, 40, 45. Then decline. At the age of 58, we start declining, right? So similarly for any product, any company, same stage occurs. So which of this product life cycle stage has huge investments and lesser sales? Lesser sales will be where? Where, where are I saying this? See this category. Lesser sales, this. Huge investment, investment big and sales less. 
Yes, investment big. Okay, big investment is needed, and sales are very less in this category. When it goes to growth category, in growth category, what happens? In growth category, the sales increases, and the investment also increases, but not to that effect. Sales increase usually. At maturity stage, you have huge sales and profits as well. At that time, investment is lesser because you have already invested in the introduction and phase. Okay, so which of the following PLC has huge investments and lesser sales? Introduction, maturity, decline, or growth? A is A means introduction. B is A to C. All these three. C is B and D only means maturity and growth and D is A, C and D. A means introduction, decline and growth. So what is the answer? The answer is A. In introduction phase, we have huge investments but very less sales. Okay. Yeah. Everyone join the Sankalpa batch immediately. In Sankalpa batch here, yeah, you are having all the four subjects. PPB, IFS, AFM, Retail Banking and Wealth Management, all of them are covered. Numericals, objective questions, case studies, everything is covered. Remember, exam is in October. Join it fast. We have recorded sessions available. Even video courses are available. You can join the video courses. Okay? Click on JIB, CIB, JIB Mahapak 2.0 also. In JIB Mahapak, you will get such so as live classes, video courses, ebooks, test series, mini and maha marathons, practice papers, doubt sessions, everything you are getting. And right now, you are having 80% off going on. 80%. Not a joke. Okay? Everyone should join this. In fact, I would suggest you to go through the app. Let me show you. Okay, go to under 24-7. I'll suggest you to go through the app. In the app, what happens? You get coin systems. Okay, these coin systems, they will give you extra, uh, this, uh, as you go on collecting the coins, they'll give you extra income, means extra discount as such. Okay, so, look at this. Go to JIB and CIB. Okay, done. Click on JIB October 23. Click on Sankalpa. Okay. Now you'll see the batches. See this 399.80 fees. Raki 80 code. 80% off is already applied. Look at this. Online live classes. 175 test series. 181 ebooks. Click on any one of these. You'll see this test series. All the test series, topic wise, module wise. Click on these. You'll again get the module topic wise uh, test series. Okay. Similarly for this. Online live classes, click on this, you'll see all the classes. You get, you get the recorded videos also. Click on this ebooks, you'll see all the ebooks also. So that's why everything is available in the same fees. Click on buy now. See, this code is already applied 80% off. 399.80 at uh, 19999 reduces to 399.80. Huge discount, isn't it? Click on continue, fill in your details, just continue, pay, done. Okay. Similarly, you can join the Mahapak also. In Mahapak, you are getting multiple batches. Okay. Along with, you will be getting ebooks as well, tests as well. See this JIB, CIB, Mahapak. Click on the JIB, Mahapak. Okay. Look at the fees now. 80% off is there plus double validity. Click on buy now. Look at this. 80% off and 6 plus 6 months double validity. And you get again all, almost 8 to 10 batches per subject. Then you get ebooks, tests, uh, this uh, doubt sessions, everything you are getting. So join it as app. I'll be back tomorrow with another series. Till then, keep studying and do join the batches as app. Bye.